China's sky eye has received mysterious signals from the universe many times. Are aliens contacting humans on Earth? Friend or foe? Let us find out in this video. For a long time, human beings have never stopped exploring the universe. All countries in the world are looking into the depths of the universe to explore the mysteries of the universe. Is there any other life in the vast universe? In this regard, many people believe that there must be some. In order to find out, human beings have created advanced exploration tools one after another. First telescopes, then astronomical telescopes, and now radio telescopes. Among the radio telescopes, China Sky Eye is the master. After the completion of the construction, China Sky Eye has received mysterious signals from the universe many times. Many scientists are very excited about this. Could it be that aliens are contacting us? It is worth mentioning that China Sky Eye is the largest single aperture radio telescope in the world, and it is also the radio telescope with the strongest comprehensive capabilities in the world. As the latest masterpiece in the field of science and technology in China, it can receive electromagnetic signals more than 10 billion light years away, leading the world in strength. Up to now, China's sky eye has discovered more than 240 pulsars. What's even more rare is that sky eye has received mysterious signals from the universe many times. As soon as the news came out, the industry was shocked. In 2019, China's sky eye locked more than 100 fast radio storms. Relevant people said that these signals should come from a mysterious destination 3 billion light years away from the Earth. So the question is, what is a fast radio burst? The so-called fast radio bursts refer to a particularly fine radio pulse wave. Although the duration of fast radio bursts is very short, generally only a few milliseconds, the energy is very large, even greater than the sum of the energy released by the sun in a day. To put it simply, if humans can effectively use fast radio bursts, its energy will be enough to power humans for tens of billions of years. As early as more than 10 years ago, scientists discovered fast radio bursts. In fact, this kind of pulse wave signal is not uncommon in outer space, but this time the pulse wave signal is completely different from the past. It is understood that there are a large number of pulse wave signals this time, and the frequency is the same, as if a person is knocking on the door with a special rhythm. Speaking of this, many people may think of the Morse code in the spy war drama. As of now, humans have discovered this mysterious signal nearly 200 times. Humans have not yet figured out its origin. However, some scientists speculated that this may be a signal from an advanced alien civilization, which was later called the greetings from the little green man in the industry. This idea has a lot of people excited. Could it be that aliens are trying to contact us? The birth of China's sky eye directly accelerated scientists' understanding of fast radio bursts. When the sky eye received three fast radio burst signals at a time, scientists discovered that they were sent from the same place, which is the magnetar. At this time, scientists conjectured that perhaps all the fast radio bursts we accept come from magnetars. The so-called magnetar refers to a neutron star with a super-strong magnetic field. You must know that the strength of the Earth's magnetic field is very weak, while the magnetic field strength of a magnetar is as high as 10 billion Tesla. If there is a magnetar next to the Earth, all bank cards on the Earth may be degaussed and become useless cards. However, since humans cannot prove that all fast radio bursts come from magnetars, some scientists still believe that fast radio bursts may be signals from aliens. After all, 
In the vast universe, the Earth is just a drop in the ocean. So we have reason to believe that there are alien intelligent civilizations in the universe. If these signals are really from aliens, should we write back? In this regard, the view of many scientists is, don't reply. It is worth mentioning that when China's sky eye was shining brightly on the world stage, there was such a rumor circulating on the internet that Hawking warned China's sky eye not to respond to alien signals, and even said that it would close the sky eye. So, did Hawking ever make such a statement? The answer is not at all. In fact, the function of the sky eye is to receive signals, not to transmit them. Some media with ulterior motives have been preaching that the signals sent by the sky eye will be received by aliens, and even attract aliens to invade the Earth. This is completely nonsense. Having said that, many people still believe in this rumor. The reason is actually not difficult to understand. After all, many people admire Hawking and think that as long as the views expressed by Western countries are correct. Prior to this, there was another saying that Hawking warned humans not to land on the moon. It later proved that this statement was also an exaggeration. The source of this statement actually comes from an interview with Hawking in 2012. In an interview with a BBC reporter, he believed that there may be aliens in the universe, and it was very dangerous for humans to try to communicate with them. He also emphasized that if aliens decide to come to Earth, the result is likely to be like the Europeans came to the Americas. In other words, human beings are likely to face extinction just like the Americans back then. However, Hawking never said, don't go to the moon, let alone such weird remarks as, there are aliens on the back of the moon. Anyone who knows Hawking will know that Hawking has always expressed support for the extraterrestrial immigration plan. He once bluntly said that human beings should focus on space exploration so that conflicts can be avoided due to competition for resources. In addition, Hawking has been devoting himself to the process of exploring the mysteries of the universe. He once co-sponsored a new initiative with a Russian rich man and invested 100 million US dollars together. The goal is to find signs of extraterrestrial life. When a reporter asked him whether there were aliens in the universe, he said that there must be other forms of life in the infinite universe. Regarding the alien threat, Hawking's point of view is that when we actually discover aliens, it is best not to take the initiative to contact them. However, this does not contradict our search for alien life. Some people may worry that human beings may expose themselves in the process of searching for aliens and even cause death. After all, we don't know whether they are friends or foes, and their civilization may far surpass that of the Earth. But if human beings stop exploring, human beings will never get a major breakthrough in the development of science and technology. In 2020, the Arecibo telescope in the United States suddenly collapsed overnight, which means that China's sky eye has become the only hope for the world. For a long time, China's sky eye has been the best choice for human beings to explore space. Today, China has officially opened its sky eye to the world. So far, applications for observations from countries around the world have been received. Human beings' exploration of extraterrestrial life will never stop, and China's sky eye will surely play a vital role in this process. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.